part of every night show. Nico, Nico, it's morning time. Oh, you're already up. I woke up with the alarm. Yeah, I set my own alarm. <laughs> you said don't say good morning, so. I was talking to my watch. I was talking to my alarm. My alarm said good morning when it went off. Eco, it's knife show day. Yep. Oh. Are you hungover? No. Me either. Fuck, this is going to be a bad day. All right, guys. It's going to be a great day. It's knife show day. You're going to get ready. It has not officially started, but as you saw, we're going to film real quick Artisan and maybe some other people before this place gets too crowded. So let's go ahead and talk with Russell from Artisan Knives. Russell at Artisan Cutlery. I, I told you guys, so Russell's gonna tell us what's new and what's going on with Artisan because there's some cool stuff down here that you have yeah. not seen yet down here. Yeah. So we got like a bunch of stuff that came in post Blade Ooh. West and uh, Free Shot Show. So why don't we start with some of the stuff on the CGRB side. Let's go with this one. We had this one advertised for a bit. This is the Frack going, uh, kind of went big on this one. We did a frag version in steel. We have a black frag version in steel. We have the basic non uh so non-frag version there and then we do have also a dressed up even though it's just the same frag but full ties this thing weighs absolutely nothing and comes in s90 so this is feels really good hard to focus we're gesticulating wildly <laughs> i love that that's it's a good so looking nice. knife action this thing's really snappy i love you know i like the choils personally i know it's not everyone's favorite but this thing is just almost a four inch blade it makes up for a lot of that like it, yeah. It's it's definitely comfortable. Yeah, I, I was playing with it earlier. It's definitely comfortable, and the choil gives it a sleeker, like and it looks like a, like a like a bird of prey. Yeah, it's kind of like a. My thought is if the lago and the, uh, yeah, the lago and the pirate got together and they had a a baby in the military. It's like an illicit knight. That's the that's the obscene love child of that pairing. It's just like a hyper-aggressive, big old, long, stabby, slicey, semi-tactical folder. But it really was like, yeah, what do you want in a tactical folder? Not super heavy, good blade. It, it is It is nice and light for the size, I have to admit. Even the steel one, the tie one's even lighter. The steel one is good. And I was talking with him about it. So guys that, that don't like the frag pattern because it can be aggressive, it's not. It's, it's done really well. It's nice and smooth. It's aesthetics versus like super, super grippy. Because honestly, with the shape of the, with the shape of the handle, you don't need something insanely grippy. Yeah. But I prefer the steel one, just by a hair, just because the, it's more balanced in the center. But if I'm carrying and I want to carry as light as possible, the tie feels surprisingly light. Yeah, it's good. It, it the, I mean, they're both really good. Uh, I, I like the, I like the, the, the frag pattern on a lot better. Now I know that there's going to be some people that saw this and are gonna be curious. What's going on with these little guys? Okay, so we got these out at Blade West. But we've been, we're going. We're going hard on these things. Like there's going to be new colors, new patterns, new materials. We have the mini pyrites and the micas over here on this side. Uh, there's small differences between the two. The mini pyrites are essentially just a cut down pyrite, just shaved it off with some blade, shaved off some handle. And I find this to be very comfortable in the hand. I think it's just a nice small one. That choil is still small. I can kind of, I can, for me, with my small hands, I can get a fingertip in there. If you want to use it like that, or it just makes it easy to sharpen. We did a few special versions for CCPS. We have a um, a forged carbon fiber version, so that kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's it's forged carbon fiber versus the marble carbon fiber. I like the way this looks, but it makes it- It's, it's a good look. For an already super light knife, this thing weighs absolutely nothing. And then because people like it, we did a little Ultem. Um, Hang on a second, hold that, I'm gonna zoom in. Ultem is unique. I, I'm not 100% sure yet how I feel about Altem. I wish it came in a gray, but I know it can't because of the formula. And I will say the stuff is awfully tough. Um, yeah. It's a pain to machine, but I do like how you can see the underlying, you know. that That's the cool thing about I it. I like that. I think it's a nice touch. And with something like this, because this is already, again, super light, super small, super light. This just makes it like this really durable, super small little like, you know, drop in anything and you'll be able to use it. Like this is a, a pocket drop, a fifth pocket drop, you know, a bag drop. So it's, it's a desk drawer knife. It's like, oh, I got it in my desk drawer at work or that would be like a in slacks, yeah. going around the office, opening packages. It's exactly that, and it's perfect. So for the people who are mentioning that what they like about this is that it really is a box pop. You can get the finger up there, you have enough Warren Cliff on there, really just the box and you're good to go. The aluminum scale ones are here with some nice colors. We're gonna probably have more colors coming out this blue it's a poppy blue that is a it, like it's not going to come out how extremely vibrant 
that is. I love the the anno that you get, the colored anno on aluminum. It's really it bright. looks so, so good. It's really bright. And then that copper uh, accent on the pivot hole, or the, I'm sorry, the lanyard hole, really looks just good like with that blue. You did that nice like neon green on the black, which I did. was a great little touch. It's just a little something to offset it. So you guys can see it. There you go. Yeah. See, so that's what he's talking about. I didn't. I don't think it came out from the angle we were at. So I will say the pink ones. As much as not everyone likes pink, I think the pink one's a great idea. That is a like you know you're never gonna lose it. It's a good gift knife. All these are really good like little like yeah. The holidays coming up. These are gift knives. This is like you know get a kid a knife. Get your get your girlfriend. Get your get your wife a knife. It's a good place to start for someone who isn't super into knives, but you want something that's high quality, not crazy expensive, and kind of non like you know. It's small enough just throw anywhere. Yeah. So we have that. So then we have the micas. So same. I mean, really similar to the to the original pyrite. But we did change some of the profile on this. You know, yeah. the back is totally flat on this one. It's got this little termination point here. It's actually a tiny bit longer. We've curved the top a bit more to make kind of a more like. I guess I'd call it more of a just like, you know, non-threatening shape. But really what it is, is it's just all smoothed out. And to go with that drop point, it's a very aesthetically pleasing knife. It's just smaller and fits honestly really nicely in the it, hand. It is. It's a nice small knife. It's not something that I would seek out for me for everyday carry with the big You like big ass bits I have. It's not just that. It, it it's it's more like when you start getting into this size that I've got the the real grip that I want. Just a little bit bigger than than that. So it's, a regular pyrite. Yeah. yeah like a regular pyrite, yeah. But I'm happy with these. I think what they they really kind of bring something a bit more like accessible and friendly to the table and honestly for the guys who are here just looking for a carryable like you want to dress it a bit with the, with the carbon fiber great it's freaking perfect so these are a lot of fun we have a whole bunch of those there's all kinds of new stuff though like i'm seeing like i don't i haven't seen this yet this is actually blade west so that is the resource designed by dirk pinkerton that thing is a big old like it's a yeah find a work knife and it, that is a monster but it's not super, super. It's heavy. it's not. It's done really well. This is not for as big as it is. You guys know, for size perspective, that's my hand. This is not a bad size knife. Yeah, it and it's right. just like all of Dirk's knives. The design with how it's contoured over, but with those lines, so you get the contour, but you also get a little bit of tactility. Yeah. It doesn't feel at all. You can see it's all milled out like step. The thing about that one is it's not so much of a looker. Like we know the sales online are only so good because everyone looks at that online. It's like, oh, it's a knife. It's like no. That is a fantastic tool. Like it has everything there as a either a backup knife, a like additional knife to your camping gear, or just a larger like head. I can't say heavy use, but kind of a more mid use EDC. Like it's not just a big old slab like it's frame it's, lock. it's not, and it is it deceptively light. Yeah, that fuller. It's got a bit of like some of these have a real heavy detail to it because they do need a bit of breaking in. But they, that fuller works great, the thumb studs work great, and it's just, it's got a ton of blade. So, okay, well, we'll probably come back and get with Russell a little bit later. I have got to try and catch someone. Yeah, one more, though. What, one more? Yeah, we got the Space Cowboy, another Fire and Forge. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I've already Space seen it. Space up in time for the show. Just, I saw the prototypes of these. You guys are going to get to see this. I'm sure that I'm going to have some of this stuff on yes. the channel. I have another Pinkerton that's in my bag already. That's going to be a surprise. You have to stay tuned to see that one. There you go, Russell. I'm sure I will be back to talk about the rest of the stuff, but I already set up to film over at ProTech. So you're going to see two splits because both these tables are going to get swamped really fast. So, Russell, thanks. I'm sure that we'll get with you a little bit later because I have to see most of the stuff we've already seen. We know you'll be back. Yes, we know I will. <laughs> Tech, before this place gets crazy, show me what you brought special for the show. Sure. Welcome to CCS Bowl of 2023. So we've got a few pieces here. This is our custom wood river table inlay. It's a titanium godson anodized blue. Uh, it's got some ash wood infused with resin. Titanium pocket clip. Vines and roses Damascus. Super neat custom that combines a lot of you know in-house capabilities, some you know stuff made by Mother Nature, and then some tinkering with in-house resin stuff. I love that. That is gorgeous. Thanks. One of our favorites for the show is our Tiffany Blue Malibu Flipper. So it's kind of a almost like a mid-tech model for us. It's got a custom Mike Erie hand ground, 154 cm compound blade, pearl button, 
Tiffany blue dragon scales of 7075 aluminum. We made 15 for the show, so they're individually serialized. Nice. That's a super fun one for us, a nice new color that we're trying out. That is so polished that it's almost not wanting to come out on. And just buttery, buttery smooth. Super polished. Yeah. It's really not a show without a show Malibu either. So a nice purple Malibu. Hang on a second. Now back to that. We got interrupted with uh, with the, the uh, mics. So we've got our purple Malibu, 7075 aluminum, a nice abalone pearl button. DLC reverse tanto blade, also super fidgety. We built 40 of these for the show. 40? Yes, sir. I know you've got an affinity for our Mordax. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So our blue Mordax, pearl button, S45 VN, DLC black blade, also flips like a dream. And then right off the machine, we just finished up some 17.4. It's a hardened stainless steel chassis. It's a 40 minute cycle time just to make the handles. They've been blasted and then sat and finished on the tops. Man. And then in Mike Erie fashion, that compound grind, I have goose beer polished blade. Yeah, the goosebumps. sound it makes is just so incredible. Super, super fidgety. Stop it. I, oh, that is gorgeous. Here, let me zoom in. Look at that button. Compound grind. And like even the sound difference between an aluminum one, which yeah. is a bread and butter winner for us, versus machine hole inlays, a different metal sound. You can just hear the difference. It's <laughs> it so good. And then it's not a Protex show without some customs as well. So my favorite, we've been making the TR3 for, I want to say 21 years now. This is a titanium frame, gold inlays, gold coin. Uh, diamond button as well. Oh. Bruchon engraved knife. Mike Erie hand ground damaged steel hawk capella blade. That's a really neat custom for us. Okay. Tur tur is there a price tag on that? Yes, sir. Where's it at? I, I just got to show the guys what the price is on that. Yeah, my gosh. But it's, it's beautiful. So for the life of this company, we will only ever make 10 pieces. This is piece number six. Okay. So very cool custom project. Nice, nice. And then... And then a bunch of uh, Emerson Jig customs as well. So a bunch of titanium frames. We call these Maker's Choice. So we give 10 frames to the builders. And we let them do whatever they want to. So whatever hardware, whatever anodizing color, titanium jig frames. That one's got a really cool mosaic button on it. Two-tone DLC satin blade super neat custom shop. This has our new wide deep carry clip pocket clip as well. Yeah, that's nice. So right off the machine, 10 pieces, all individually anodized. Nice. And well, that's a show for us. I think uh, I think we'll probably come back and get with you guys yes, about sir. some of the, just the regular stuff. But I just wanted to hit you guys up before everything popped off. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thanks for buddy. a little bit of pre-show footage. There you go, guys. There's the end of part one, not even close. This is stuff I filmed before the show even opened. Put that in perspective. So um, I'm going to break these videos up. I'm going to try and keep them around the 12 minute mark. There's going to be one that is pretty much just Tashi Barucha by himself. Um, so I'm not adding any of my sponsors ads in there. So go check them out down below. Coffee Brand Coffee, Temper Trail, um, Doll Strong Knives. Check out all of my affiliate links down below. GP Knives, Knives Ship Free. So if you are going to buy a knife, use my links and stuff down below. There's a bunch of them, not just those two. Um, Artisan and CJRB, any of the knives that you see there, there's a link to their website there so that you can purchase them. Um, you can also look at joining my membership to support the channel. So guys, I also have an open discord for everyone. It's available to everyone. There's a link to that down below. Go hang out there, have fun. Uh, if you've got a question about anything you saw on the show, you can do it there because I get an instant notification. So if maybe you're afraid you're not going to get your stuff seen in the comment section below, you can always do it there, but you got to join the Discord to do it. So join that link. We have fun. There's only 15 people. There should be more. So I'll see you guys in basically day one, part two.